Hey guys, it's Dina and I was sitting here playing in my makeup using one of my favorite palettes, the Sweet Peach palette. And I said, you know, how about I just talk a little bit. Last time we talked, I told you that I was on a health journey and it is so hard, it's very difficult. I have been working out every day, but my eating is not on point yet and that is 80% of being healthy so I'm working on that and because I'm only playing in makeup it's a full face but I'm not using foundation I'm gonna use the hangover primer today but yes yeah, it's, it's 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 very difficult I would just say it's a work in progress because I really want to get back to where I was but I am still, like I said, working out, walking every day. I'm just not 100% into it like I was. I do go get another hydrofacial this month because my birthday is in November. And that is, the hydrofacial is next week, not my birthday. And I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Deep Translucent Powder all over my face today as like a foundation and this is something that I do when I really don't want to put on any makeup but I want to look put together if I'm going out and I'm also gonna do some lip swatches with some MAC lipsticks that I purchased that I swatched on my hand but did not put them on my lips I'll be doing that in this video and I'm just using this elf complexion brush But yeah, I thought I would do some, some lip swatches because I've shown you what they look like on my hand, but for you to physically see what they are on me is a whole different story. I won't be wearing concealer either today. Well, it's 10.42 p.m. Let's face it, as soon as I'm done playing this makeup and talking to you guys, I will be washing it off my face, so why use all the good stuff? Also, guys, I bought the Alex drawers in the back, and I see everybody with these containers. Some people go to the container store, but if you can leave me a comment below on uh, what the best organize, makeup organizing items are for palettes and concealers and, you know, just all the makeup stuff, leave that below if you don't mind because I want to make sure that I'm getting best items I can and I don't want to get something that I don't necessarily need my collection is growing and now my drawers are looking out of control I'm gonna use the Kat Von D shade and light palette that I got from TJ Maxx and I'm going to use this dark shade here. Somber. I think that should be good. Oh, oh, I went in with that one. And this is my first time using this palette here on the camera. And that is very pigmented. And I'm using this um, Tarte Blush Wheel. And let's see what concept right there looks like. It's got a little shimmer to it, but we'll see. Very subtle, but it has a shimmer to it. And this is the Coconut Fix Plus. Okay, guys, I have, my face still looks wet, but I have two pencils, lip pencils. This one is chestnut because it is all beaten up. I've had it for a while. And then I have cork. Also, if you see me wiping my lips, I'm using Clinique, um, 
the Pep Start Wipes that I got from TJ Maxx to wipe off the lipstick color and apply a different one. The first one I'm going to use is Velvet Teddy. And I'm going to start off lining my lips with the cork pencil and if I need to darken I will. And this is Velvet Teddy here. And it's a matte lipstick. It kind of mutes me out. I don't know if it was such a good idea to buy Velvet Teddy, but let's try it with Chestnut. If I can put that on over there. But that is really muted. I guess if I did my makeup differently, I might be able to get away with it and put on more makeup. Well, if I, I guess if I had done my eyeshadow differently and put on more makeup, I could get away with it. But I didn't, so you get to see it up close and in person. How I really look without makeup, wearing this kind of lipstick. Okay, when you use the chestnut liner, it gives it more definitions. Do this lipstick, but I have to use chestnut, not cork. All right, let's change this one out. And in between, I am using my Rosebud Salve. The next color I'm going to wear is taupe. Also, guys, if you have good recipes for, I mean, I need a bomb salad. A bomb salad. Because I'm kind of getting bored with just my grilled chicken, romaine lettuce, cucumbers and dressing so if you've got a recipe also put that down below too for me to check it out again I'm using cork pencil and the color is taupe by Mac and there it is there and the taupe is also matte It's not too far off from Velvet Teddy. This one is a little warmer. It looks good with chestnut. Be honest, guys. Am I buying too much of the same color lipstick? <laughs> I'm working on it. All right. Let's switch the color to the last one. Okay, the last color that we're going to use is Persistence, and it is also a matte. Because cork is just not getting it today. And this is persistence. And let's see what we're looking like. Oh, let me put this down before I break my lipstick yeah guys but I have my hydrofacial I gotta get another manicure I need to know what kind of containers to get for my makeup this one I probably could have went with the cork lip liner but it's too late because I'm wearing a chestnut that's pretty I don't regret buying them you guys let me know what you think. But yeah, that's all I wanted to do is come talk to you guys. Let you know that I was having a very hard time with my eating. And I need some recipes. So please, if you have some, please list them. No red meat though. I just wanted to come by and do a short chit chat with you. And try on some lipsticks. But I did not show you up close and in person what they look like. And I will talk to you later. See you in the next video.